Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com along with my business partner Alar Poltec, this is Ali. So this is again a video on FCCS, Financial Consolidation in Trigos Cloud Services in Oracle. And we are going to talk about audit task. The audit task by default enabled in FCCS or one can configure according to their name. In general, an audit is a systematic examination of books and accounts. The statutory records document voucher to ascertain how far the financial statement as well as the non-financial disclosure present a true and fair view. Auditing conduct an official financial inspection of a company's audit where they check all the information regarding user in numbers or how many transactions is done. So FCCs provide the complete audit trail. So I, I have already logged in into FCCS. This is a demo version of FCCS and this is the home page of administrator. So these are the card and cluster on the home page one can check and because a user navigate the FCC application through the card. So under tool one can find the audit option or audit audit card. So once you click on the audit card, it provides the information about audit. And once you click on the configure option, it provides the configure. So how much patient or audit task is performed? Audit task is provided in a group in FCCS. These are the all artifact is by default checked like metadata administration, security, data form, user administration and all the others approval in Java. So these are the task group. Under the task group, one can find the task. So which is going to trigger. In FCC's every action trigger a audit trail. So if it is related with the custom dimension, member, alias, or any other task performed by user is gives an audit trail or trigger an audit. In the same way, like metadata is a task group, then security, these are the groups of tasks, like security, data form, user administration, journal, and clears cell data. These are the group. After the group, it comes like who has taken the action, like user initiated action, which action is taken with user group, like it's the add, delete, modify, clear, and execute. Then after it provide the or user information, like user ID, who has done this action, like Peter is a user ID here, John, for example. Then it's come to the full name of the user. Like username is Peter Chan, John Goodwin, Harry Can. So who has done with complete name? Then it's come to the other information they provided in an audit, like time, the complete time, then properties that have been modified or changed, property one and property two. Then what was the old value? Okay. It's a new value. In general, it provides the open and close period as well, which action is taken in general. So we'll go, we'll go live in FCCS and check what are the changes once we check or create the journal. For example, how many action is taken? So suppose if I click on journal, Then I create journal, this is the action. Then if I'm giving the label, like if I give the label sales adjustment, sales adjustment is a label that I get. So this is the action. Okay. 
perform. Then it comes to the another action is journal type. I am selecting. Then it comes to the user group. Which group I am selecting. And if I am giving the description, that is also an action. So here I am selecting the four thing. Like label, I give label to journal, and I select the type of journal. Then I select the group, and I give the description. Then I can save this journal. Just I click on save. But this adjustment need to be done in future. So I am just saving the journal here. So I save the journal. I close the journal here. Then we'll check. What are the action is tagging into the audit chain? If I click on audit, then again tools, then audit. One can check how many action is done. Like one can uh, check with a group as well. Right now, it's all is selected. One can filter according to their need. And these are the action is tag here. Like I have created the label sales adjustment. Then this is the POV. Then this is the label. And action performed by eight by user. This is the action performed by user administrator. And this is the value of adjustment. One can have another option as well. Click on action. Once we click on action, we find two options that one can click on delete so that the their journal, the audit information will be deleted from the system and one can export the thing. Same journal. One can record the export file for the audit trail for a future audit or for internal audit team. Or oh. one can analyze the journal as well for future analytics. That one can check how many journal have been posted last month. How many journal have been posted last month and what are the uh, journal means is added or how much information if it's added. These are the edit tasks and at what time, what is the value? Old value is a new. I have not modified actually. This is the same showing here that is it's not showing the old value. And these are the action what I have tagged here. One can check all the time frame, the time showing the CDD central time. It's showing the task journal action is a Edit. Then the user ID, which user ID is being done, it says showing the default EPM, then showing the name, user, username, then time, then property one. What is the property? It's sales adjustment. The name of the label is property one. Then the property second is a POV that is selected for journal group. Then the old value and the new value. So this way one can evaluate the audit task. So that's all for today. If you have any query or question, you can comment below or you can visit to our website www.bispsolutions.com. Thank you. Have a great day.